Welcome to a brief demonstration of Solver Buddy. Solver Buddy is a GTO preflop PLO tool for learning, analyzing, and practicing GTO preflop PLO ranges. We've added multiple new features to Solver Buddy in the past day, and I want to walk you through those features now, in addition to the original Solver Buddy feature, which is the live hand search. Let's go ahead and start with the first new feature, and that's the Range Explorer. I'll go ahead and go to the Range Explorer page here, and you can see we're presented with uh, multiple different options here at the top. We can input our search criteria in the Enter Hand box, and then we can select the hero's position in the green buttons. We can select the villain's position in the red buttons, and then we can select our stack size, and we can select the stakes we play at. Now, the way the tool works is we simply type in a hand, and for whatever situation we currently have selected, it's going to display the results for that hand or hands that meet the search criteria the same way that a solver would. So if I type in ace, king, queen, jack, it is now showing me all combinations of ace, king, queen, jack for all of the different actions for this situation. In this case, we've selected under the gun versus none, so there's only one action. We are under the gun, we can either raise or not. As we can see here, Ace, King, Queen, Jack appears several times in the RFI section. We can filter this down, for example, by using common PLO syntax. We could use dollar sign DS for double suited combinations. We could use dollar sign SS for single suited combinations. We could specify our own suit configuration by using the with character, a colon, and then to using the characters X, Y, Z, and W to define how we want the structure of the suits to appear. So we could look at double suited to the top two cards. We could look at a different double suited combination, right? We could look at rainbow. And we could change the situation by simply clicking the buttons up here. So let's say I want to search for a range of hands, um, queen jack 10, nine down to eight, seven, six, five. I'm looking at 30 BBs right now, and I can see here that I'm only opening double suited combinations. But let's go ahead and change that to 100 big blinds under the gun, and we can see that all of a sudden we are now also opening single suited combinations. Right? So this is a very useful tool for analyzing how ranges change across stack sizes or across stakes. So if we change back to 30 BBs, and let's say we go high stakes, we can see we're also now starting to open the Queen Jack 10-9 single suited combinations. You can also use wild cards, so I could type something like Queen Jack 10 with a star to see all hands that contain Queen Jack 10 in this range. And then I could filter down by saying I don't want to look at hands that have an ace in them. So you can use common PLO syntax to define a variety of different hands um, that you want to look at at a given point in time rather than simply searching for a single hand. That's how the Range Explorer works. If you want to learn more about it, go ahead and click on this little question mark. That will pop up a in-depth tutorial that shows multiple examples of the true versatility of this tool. Let's move on to the next new feature, which is the quiz feature. If we go to the quiz page here. You'll be presented with the quiz index. On the left, we can make a new quiz, and on the right, we can view quizzes that we've already taken. So I'm going to go ahead and make a new quiz here. Now, you can see here we've got multiple rows with buttons in them. Uh, in the heroes row, we've got positions. In the villains row, we've got positions. What's going on is right now, all of these buttons are enabled, meaning that our quiz will show us situations where hero is in any position. It will show us situations where villain is in any position. It will show us all actions, folded to, facing arrays, facing a three bet, and facing a four bet and it will show us all stack sizes. If you want to filter down, you need to start disabling options. So let's say I only wanted to look at under the gun 30 BBs deep. I could select only under the gun and only 30 BBs deep. Disable the other options. And let's say I only want to look at my RFI ranges. I don't want to face any three bets under the gun. Well, I can just s disable everything except for folded two. And I want to play 20 hands at micro stakes, so I'll start the quiz. It's now going to show me randomly dealt hands from under the gun, and I have to choose. Do I want to RFI or do I want to fold? 
And if I get it correct, it will let me know. And if I get it wrong, it will force me to choose the right answer. This is a great way not only to learn how to play the proper ranges, but also to practice what you've learned using the Range Explorer and perhaps the Live Search tool. So we'll run through a couple here. These are some obvious folds. Well, it looks like Ace King 8 5 actually should be an open here at 30 BBs deep. The, you know, Ace King high type hands are very valuable when you're playing so short. And we'll go ahead and fold that one. And I think you get the idea. Now, we'll go back to the quiz page here. I'm going to go ahead and make another quiz. This time I'm going to show you guys what it looks like, for example, to run multiple scenarios at once. So now I'm just going to leave everything on, right? I want to play all stack sizes. I want to play all actions and all possible uh, configurations for positions. What's going to happen is it's going to randomly select 20 situations and it's going to randomly show me 20 different hands for those situations. So let's go ahead and start the quiz. That takes obviously a second longer to generate the quiz, but we're in now. Okay, so here we're facing a three bet. We are under the gun and we're 30 BBs deep. Ace nine six five. I am going to try flatting this hand. Okay, that looks like that was correct. Ace king nine two. Now we're 50 BBs deep under the gun, facing a three bet from the button. Ace king nine two. I'm just going to fold this hand. Oh, looks like that wasn't right. I'm going to call. Okay. King, King, Jack, 10, uh, we're facing a 3-bet. We're quite short. This is a pretty good hand. Um, I could either go call or 4-bet. I think I'm going to go for call since we don't have an ace. Nope, looks like that'll be a 4-bet. Ace, King, Queen, Jack here. We've been 3-bet. I think I'm just going for the call with that hand. Yep, that's correct. Now here we have placed a 3-bet with Ace, Jack, Jack, 8, and now we've been 4-bet. We're playing deep here. I think with this hand I'm just going to go for the fold. Uh, it's not double suited, and the uh, having the ace in our hand isn't particularly good. Looks like that was the correct action. Queen, queen, six, six, double suited. We've been three bet, but we're very short. I think I'll go for the call anyways. That's correct. Ace, jack, jack, eight. You can see some blind versus blind play going on here. So you can keep track of how you're doing in the left-hand corner, and you'll also get a summary when you're done of the uh, of how well you played that quiz. And then if you go, wanted to take a quiz again, you can go to your quiz page and you could click, for example, retake. And it will generate that same quiz again. So you could test how you do across time in a given quiz, right? Are you improving? So the quiz feature is really cool, like I said, for both learning ranges, just getting in here, loading up a situation, and just seeing what's your baseline. Maybe you want to take a quiz before you start studying a situation. That's what I do with a lot of my students. I say, all right, let's put you under the gun, 30 BBs deep RFI, and let's just see how well you do to start. And then we'll focus on what it seems like you're missing. Now, we're also looking to add many more features around the quiz section to help better refine your study habits in the near future. So look out for that. Finally, we've got the live search feature. Nothing has changed here. The live search is still a very useful tool. When you are playing live and you need to look up a hand in a pinch, you can just type in a hand, either an exact hand by clicking the cards. You could type an exact hand. You could type just the ranks, like Ace, King, Queen, Jack. Or you could even use the simple cards feature. I like this a lot, especially on mobile. And you could type, uh, type the cards that way. So this tool, once again, will explain to you in plain English how to play the hand you've entered. So it will tell you something like three of the same suit plus. That's nice because it, it sort of is much more quick to comprehend than looking at, say, just a list of combinations. Um, but of course, you lose that extra flexibility of entering multiple hands at once that you would get with the Range Explorer, which is, I would say, much more useful for analyzing ranges. Uh, as per usual, you can change the situation very quickly by using these buttons. And that is the original Solver Buddy feature, which is still a part of Solver Buddy, but we have now increased the number of features, I would say tenfold, by now throwing in the Range Explorer, which is so, so useful, as well as the quiz feature, which is also extremely useful. That's about all I've got now for the updated demonstration of Solver Buddy. Uh, I hope I uh, explained things well. You can see, um, by the way, if we go to the Range Explorer, everything's been optimized for mobile. So you can 
Um, look at your ranges. We'll go switch to one with multiple ranges here. If we make the screen real small here, you can see uh, actually on mobile devices, you can uh, flip through tabs even as you're, as you're going through and looking at the situation. And we can also see if we come back and go to quiz, we'll go ahead and just uh, uh, retake a quiz here real quick. You can see here that also with the quiz, you can also use this on your mobile device to practice your ranges um, no matter where you are. So there you have it, folks. That's the new solver, buddy. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us using the contact form on the website or leave a comment on this video. I might not see that necessarily as quickly, though, so I would recommend using the contact form. And thank you for watching. Uh, the tool is available at www.solverbuddy.com. I look forward to hearing your guys' feedback. Thank you.